and uh, Safari Cup 7 Botswana. Kenya Morans, a mixture of uh, players, they look probably to try and test as many players as possible. The Moran. And you can hear the crowd getting behind the Kenya team. Led by Fabian Orlando. Really good to see what this young Kenyan side can do. The Moran is a warrior in the Maasai tribe and the Maasai are known for their warlike tendencies in the past but not so much now. Kennedy's Morans as they so aptly named exemplify that same spirit. That is a Maasai blanket and he's here to support the Morans definitely. So, Kenya fans all set. Perhaps the stadium, the size, sheer size of this Kasarani complex, does not make it too easy to support teams. So, Botswana will be kicking off nice and high. Consolidated by Kenya Morant. Well done. Great strength there by Humphrey Bulama. Well cleared. Very comfortable on the ball at the moment. Fabian Orlando gives it on to Leonard Mugaisi. Links up with Kevin Keegan. And then it's Omondi. Still Omondi. What a try. That's just what the doctor ordered. Charles Omondi. I oh, love that try. Less than a minute. But less than 45 seconds. But again, it's the quick movement of the ball from the breakdown that made that try. Still had a lot of work to do. But he did well. And kick was successful as well. Texas goes to 7 0. Gostin Lugonze. Lovely kick off, nice and high. That hang forever. Well consolidated. Referees are being very strict about entry into the breakdown. Botswana themselves looking to up the tempo. That straight off his feet that gives away a needless a penalty. Lugonzo. Dain Bukidza clears it. Fabian Orlando at standstill. Bugaisi with that step. Confident. Round the outside, easy as you like. In at the center. Leonard Mugaisi, who's been knocking at the door of the national teams for a while now. It's not as easy as it looks to, to have the strength and confidence to step someone on the outside. There's been a lot of talk about this young man, though. Many are tipping him to be there or thereabouts when the final teams are named for the IRB circuit. Great try. Gonza opts to go for the short kickoff. But that did not quite pay off. And now they're struggling for defenders on the outside. 
tipped backwards by Fabian Orlando. Straight down. So Botswana finally get it to Kenya's half. Charles Omondi came flying in. They've committed, I think, three quarters of the team into that breakdown of Botswana. I see being told that the rack had formed. Place him to have stopped momentarily there. Wayward pass. Pass the ball to the ground. Will this stay in? No. Well, for a moment it looked like that was going to be the Moran's second try. So, well taken by Botswana, living dangerously at the moment, really dangerously. High tackle by the referee. That is some reprieve. Again, you wonder why players make such mistakes. The Morans did need to go high in that tackle. We've got them on the try line. They didn't look like they're going anywhere. Still, Botswana, that again looked suspiciously high from Kevin Keegan. Stand over. But the Morans have turned this. Way. Yes, they have. Okay, see. Yes. That is Davis Chenge scoring in the centre after he almost got a try a few minutes ago. Fana rewarded. The big unit is Chenge. And here's the man here. The, they've put in to add the physicality to this side. The conditioning levels of all three Kenya teams are there for all to see. They look to be in very good shape for the Kenya players. Still looking. Quite a despondent looking Botswana bench at the moment. That's what we've just conceded. Two tries and it's still only the first half. Things can be looking a bit bleak. Some fantastic kickoffs. Wow. That's an innovative way of getting the ball back to your teammates. We lost in the goals and consolidates. Kevin Keegan throws the ball behind you guys. Halfway. Guns and links up. Keegan, this time he gets the pass to him. Monday. Chenge has been a busy man this half. Puts his foot on the gas. Yes, Chenge. A lot of place for big man. The Morans are rubbing it in at the moment. But again, it's the width of their play that has created that try. Some of the teams we've seen in Botswana are guilty of that as well, of trying to play it really narrow. But, uh, that width is put Chenge in for his second try in as many minutes. As if put his foot, which is good. Love this strike. By Lugonze, when you see many having trouble with this crowd. And we look at the try once more. Check a ball in the wrong hand, which is not technically correct, but that's when you're big size like that, you can afford to have some gaps in taking. 
to attack our route, back into the forest, we kill them there. They are behind there, they are lying. So, so, and then pick off those rats. So, your feet is going to be sharp. If somebody goes down, you scratch on your feet, and we, and we secure. Sir, so, so, okay. so, 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 so that they can force the Botswana to come in. And then on the attack, he wants them to play even quicker. The 28 nil points, the 28 points nil up. Play even quicker. Botswana under the cosh. So 28 points to nil, Kenya Morans leading in uh, their first match of the tournament. Cruising comfortably at the moment. If you're just joining us, we are at the Moi International Sports Complex for the Safari Cup 7s. It's a beautiful day today. Lots of rugby to play today and tomorrow. And the weather has been kind indeed. So Augustin Lugonze of Kenya Morans has been playing well in the first half. And his restarts have been exceptional indeed. Not taken cleanly. Kevin Keegan with a step to Chenge. It's the new man, Humphrey Bulama. I beg your pardon, that is Daniel Sikuta of Mwamba who scores in the centre. But it was set up by Kevin Keegan and Sikuta holding the ball in two hands and was still able to walk through two defenders. He made the wider training squad of the Kenya Sevens last year. Did Sikuta. I'm sure this year he'll be looking to go one better and make the main squad. X. So, immediate score by Kenya. They've done what Felix Ocheng asked them to do, which is to put speed in the attack. It's already 35 nil. Chenge, the other big man. Botswana at the moment are having a torrid time. Not able to deal with this rampant Kenyan attack. Orlando just delayed that slightly, did well, oh, almost an intercept. Guilty of being caught flat-footed was the Kenyan attack. Kenya Morans looking to put probably one of the highest scores so far on day one. It's 35 points to nil. In the attack, just waiting for substitutions to be effected. Chris Asego comes in to scrum off, and his first duty is to put the ball in. Fabian Orlando is not having the best of afternoons despite his team being 35, nil point, 35 points to nil up. So it could be a Botswana ball. Very good rugby by Lugonte and Chenge. I'm sure they'll be very satisfied with the performance. Turnover, tight head. Don't see that in sevens very often. And it's Tony O'Ward. Over. For the eighth try. Very good run by the Strathmore University student. From a tight end, the Botswana defense couldn't recover in good time for the ball. And it is always a good sign to see a player holding the ball in two hands because it makes defenders think, and that's what Tony did. Bought him that split second that he needed to go around the defender. <laughs> Fans decked out in Safari Cup green. Hats and wigs. Mr. Sego. To kick off younger brother of Lavin Sego. 
Tony Orelli yet again. He's been busy since he came on the last minute. Darwin Mukidza has cracked five meters short. Nice Chenge. Sabre fight for Botswana. This rampant Kenyan attack has had them on the ropes for quite a while. Quickly in, Zamfri Mulamba, very strong in the tackle. Pass went behind. Dawi Mukita. Step, guilty of going a bit high. But still Kenya Morans. Tony Awori yet again, looking to go on the outside. Great offload in the tackle. Marvin Orlando uses his strength and power. Fell a bit awkwardly there. Still Kenya. Now looking to use the width of the field. Steps on the inside. And it is a try for Mulama. Good work by Tony Ward. And the sun and the scores beating down on that Botswana bench heavily. Not successful with a conversion. hot so a lot of the teams looking to cool off it's Australian Renegades coming into your picture great kick by Chris Asego cleared by Chenge Darwin Bukidza with a step on the inside This patient build-up that the Morans have been doing right through the match has been very effective. Tony Onyango. I was about to say try, but thank goodness I held my tongue because he had the ball knocked out of his hands just as he was going over. Did all the hard work, did Tony Onyango. had his sights already set on scoring yet another try but good desperate defense from Botswana although this game is well and truly good for them but they can't take some pride in giving their all that is the Hooter so this will be the final play of this match can Kenya put the icing on the kick Chris Osego feet the ball in squint Good on Botswana. They will have a go at scoring a try. Oh, they've not had much luck. The free playing advantage. For that tackle. No advantage. And really, no need at all of making a tackle like that. That's a yellow card. Yellow card in a match where you're leading 45 points to nil. It's not very wise. Because you never know what can happen in the later stages of the tournament. But still Botswana now. Doing their best. That is Kenya still going for it. They want to finish with a flourish. Dai Mukidza. Still Kenya. Tony Award. Fabian Orlando. They're almost walking at the moment. You wonder what the point of this all? Chris Osego 
this is when you can get someone injured badly at times in matches when you're leading by so much and all you need to do is just get into the sheds and take a break but anyway the Morans still in the attack they are going to score this try come what may Tony Ward dragging the Botswana defender on his back yes case of a piggyback so the Morans reinforcing the superiority in this match by putting in yet another try. Really bulked up this year, Stoney. And uh, I think he enjoyed that. Uh, just as much as the rest of the crowd enjoyed their performance. And it is a 50 points to nil. The first half century of the day goes to the Kenya Morans versus Botswana. And we go down to Lisa. We're here, we're still at the 2013 Safaricom 7s and we're here with Fabian Orlando from the Morans team. Fabian, how's the game? The game, the game wasn't easy, but we made it easy. Just following coach's instructions and uh, we got to victory. How are you feeling about the tournament so far? The tournament is competitive because every team is worth being here and we're taking each game as it comes. So we expect much, much harder games and we're ready for them. We see the sun is out. How's the pitch? Uh, the sun being out just makes, uh, just makes our game plans to run well because uh, those blunders which we make during the trains, they are less now. We don't make them. Thank you so much. That's Fabian Alando from the Morans team. We're still here at the Kasarani Stadium for this 2013 edition of Safaricom 7s. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Lisa. And it has been a fantastic morning of rugby indeed. And Fabio Alando there.